check it out. Please. Tonight underway, Crafton Wallace coming to us out of Naples, Florida. It's Inferno Muay Thai taking on Mark Richards out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The tactical response training. Richards making his debut here. He was a last minute replacement. You know, I think Crafton is probably the most feared guy in Florida at 185 pounds. It's, it's almost like nobody wants to fight this guy. You know, his opponents drop out all the time on fighting Crafton. Well, he's, uh, he's an aggressive fighter. But he did have one hell of a fight last AFC, AFC show. Oh, yeah, he did against uh, Ben Saunders. Yes. And Saunders came to fight. He came to fight. And he was a last-minute replacement of, of about three other guys who backed out. Wallace calls him back to the feet. Crafton is definitely a crowd favorite. As uh, Mark Richards, Richard do either of you know his style? He does a uh, tactical response training or so. Wallace with the guillotine and submission. Made quick work, Mark Richard. Dean, why don't you move to 185 and take on Wallace? Man, he don't want me to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> Another quick look at that fight. Richard's just out, out experienced, out powered, yeah. overwhelmed, and ultimately outclassed. Did Mark Richard throw a karate kick? I think that was a karate kick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please? We know, gotta thank a guy for stepping up, you know, and just taking Ladies a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, right referee Jorge well, Alonso stops this bout like at you said. 48 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by tap out from Naples, Florida, Repton. It could have been a lot worse for Richards in that fight. It was a good thing Absolutely. that he you know, just got tapped out because he could have been knocked out. So well, maybe. like you said, you got to thank a guy for stepping up last minute to take the fight anyway, and uh, he showed he had some heart anyway. Okay, next we got Shindo Kumite, Tampa, Florida. What I like to do, Muay Thai tournaments. Like, it's not a tournament, it's a single bout, but it's still Muay Thai, and I get to do my favorite weapons, the knees, the kicks. I don't have to worry about somebody trying to wrestle and hump me on the ground. This is a good show. It was actually televised on Sunshine Network, and I had video to study of my opponent, so that doesn't happen a lot. So I studied him for about three weeks every night, and I had his number. You'll see. Check out Shindo Kumite. Wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. Six feet, two inches tall, 190 half, five and a half pounds. His professional record, two wins, one loss, with one KO. His fighting style is Muay Thai from Jacksonville, Florida. Here is Sheldon, the Hawk Brown. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. Six feet tall, 187 pounds. His professional record, six wins, one loss, with six knockouts. His fighting styles are Muay Thai and mixed martial arts. He comes from Naples, Florida, the 2003 USA Extreme Challenge middleweight champion. Here is Crepton Blaze Wallace. Give an instruction show in the dressing room. Let me remind you, obey my commands at all times and protect yourself. Touch gloves. Stack back with my Recovered from a devastating car accident over two years ago. His doctor said that he would never walk right again. He's actually still in rehab from the wreck. And uh, he does a great job. Crafton Wallace from Naples, Florida, 32 years old, comes out oh. very strong. We have Punched an him. exciting start already. Crafton just attacking forward, really going for it. Crafton certainly wants to dominate this fight. Sheldon Follow Brown doing a good job of defending. The floor. He was a you're, you're allowed to hold your opponent by the head. You're allowed to kick him, knee him in the head. You're not allowed to grasp him behind the head and throw him down. Another slip. I think Sheldon Brown feels a little better after that. <laughs> oh, good, 
spinning that was back an fist. Excellent to turning Sheldon back Brown. fist. Really caught him by surprise. He came out of nowhere, um, took him down. You can see in Sheldon Brown's eyes, it didn't really hurt him, but it took him down, and he's not happy about it. We have Crafted lots Wallace. of action here. Roundhouse with the left leg, roundhouse with the right leg. Following with a kick to the leg. Crafted Wallace being so aggressive. And Sheldon he Brown. goes down. We're going for that count. I think Sheldon doesn't want any more of this. He's counting him out. He's out. We have a knockout on the first round. By Crafton Wallace. Crafton is very excited. Very good fight. The doctors in ringside attending to, um, to the red corner, to Sheldon Brown, making sure that he's OK. Safety is our number one concern. These fighters are all covered by a bond. Um, they, we have EMTs on site, just in case there's any problem. Here we go. There's that spinning back fist that took Sheldon Brown down. That was just a very fancy <laughs> technique coming out of nowhere. It was very flashy, but obviously effective taking him down. Certainly surprised Sheldon Brown. And we're ready for a decision from our judges. Or I should say the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jorge Alonso calls a halt to this bout at 1 minute 18 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by knockout, Crepton Blaze Wallace. Let's go backstage to Yumi White and our winner. Preston, congratulations. Thank you very much. How was your uh, strategy? Exactly the way I planned it. It went pressure from the beginning, and I didn't think he could take, you know, take it like I was telling you. I like to finish early, but uh, I was right, you know. But um, a lot of respect to him. He's a good fighter, very straight-up guy, you know, very honorable. I like, I like that. But uh, that's the plan I had was to go after him immediately and finish it quick. Get you had the very great punches and the kicks. Do you do special trainings for that? Mm, yeah, I always train punches and I love kicks. It just comes naturally, but I really wanted to finish with a knee, so I was trying, but uh, the knees work, they do their job. They wore him down a little bit and opened him up for other things. Well, again, congratulations. Thank you very much.